Greetings, everyone. I'm showing you my uh, Hasbro board that I've been working on. I'm actually using the LED for lighting here. It actually works quite well. And I'm going to show you how it's all wired up. We'll start with the battery. This is all turned on, so I've got to be careful with what I'm touching here. And power is connected directly to the resistor leg there. And that's another power running from the resistor. It doesn't go through the resistor, it's just connected to the same leg. That's the uh, power to the Hasbro board there. The other end of that resistor goes to this. It's going to be tricky here. Lights, camera, action. Aha, there we go. Light and camera with one hand. Anyway, this resistor right here, this little guy, is where the uh, resistor, or this transistor is where the resistor connects to. One leg's got the negative switch, or the negative LED, and the other one goes to the LED I've got in my hand. This is the uh, regular LED that comes with the uh, lightsaber, just directly up to the normal lines. Nothing special about that. And what's really cool about the setup is the regular momentary switch works with the LED. Also gives some clash effects. If I can only downside is the transistor gets a little warm. Not terribly too hot, but it gets a little warm. The ground, however, I haven't quite got that all special, so I got one I got a three way splice here, one going to the LED. And one going to the board and one going to the battery. With all this done, you can have it all in one convenient little package. And also another thing I would like to point out, I thank Tim for the awesome new uh, motion sensors he's got on this shop. You can replace these big, gigantic, bulky things with this other little black guy here that's right next to the transistor. That's the new motion sensor. It is awesome. That would be the resistor. I got some hot glue right here to keep it from grounding out against anything, shorten out. That'd be bad. I'm keeping this clash sensor mainly because of the uh, cheap quality of the PCB boards, even though the uh, custom saber shop clash, clash sensor is far superior. I just had a uh, quite a bit of issues putting on this motion sensor, and it was, you know, whoa, must have hit something there. I shouldn't have. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. Hmm. I think I shorted out the power against the speaker here. No way. Anyway, that would be my hazard board. It's tiny. I designed it that way. So that way I can fit it in my caddy here. Hmm, crystal. Awesome. That's what I plan on using one of these for. I plan on using one for a crystal and the other one for the uh, anti vandal switch I plan on installing. Anyway, that's my new Saber in Generals. I hope you enjoyed, and look forward to seeing this complete. Keep on watching. And if you're wondering what's the random clashy thing it does when I'm not touching it, that's just one of its uh, preventive major, uh, one of its preventive things, trying to tell the user that it's still on. It's like a power conserve mode here in a second. It should cut off by itself. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Later.